Five and climb it. Stay with us here on KBYL. Somebody please change the dial. Maybe it's cool on another station. Shirley, you've been sweeping that same spot for 20 minutes. It's the only place I can keep cool. So I'm picking up all the breeze from the gossip. <laughs> Why would the air conditioner pick the hottest day of the year to break down? If I want you to try and get Leon on the phone again. I would if I could ever get Mr. Wonderful off the line. I know how you feel, but it's time for us to go our separate ways. Now, now don't talk that way. You got a lot to live for. <laughs> Look, you'll see. In a year or two, I'll just be a fine memory. <laughs> Oh, but still an instant turn on. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, baby. <laughs> what a shame. That woman was very special to me. Is that the one I met the other night? Gloria? Gloria! I've been trying to think of her name. <laughs> Lamar, a woman means nothing to you. She's just an object, a toy, a plaything. You put it so beautifully. <laughs> I'm wearing a new dress, new hat, brand new ideas. As a matter of fact, I'm taste so good. Somehow the wires uncrossed, the tables are turned. I knew I had such a hit to love. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going and I know what to do. It's here. So go what? Well, I looked over the air conditioning. And? You're absolutely right. It ain't working. <laughs> Here's your bill. <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it, Leon? It's sweltering in here. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> what about us? You can come, but you got to bring your own food. <laughs> Leon! Leon! Ooh, that man is gone again. I'm going after him. Where's my bathing suit? <laughs> <Your wife. laughs> I'm going to search that beach for him if it takes until the sun goes down. <laughs> Till three o'clock. <laughs> Top of the morning, everyone. More like middle of the morning. Lamar, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Why? What'd I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Just doesn't get the concept. <laughs> oh, Lamar, you got a message from uh, Lucinda Van Drusen. Ah, Lucinda. Probably calling to thank me for last night. She called twice. Only twice? I would have thought last night was at least a three thank you night. <laughs> Someone holding out here? Vicky? <laughs> thank you. That man's ego could fill the Grand Canyon. And he'd still have enough left over for me to be sick of him. Okay. Oh, you mark my word, honey. Someday he'll pick on the wrong woman and get his comeuppance. That day could be closer than you think. What do you mean, B.B.? He's already picked on the wrong woman. Lucinda Van Druten is a witch. A witch? A witch witch? B.B., are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that B.B. does not mean that the woman is an actual witch. I've known that family for years. Her mother was a witch and her grandmother before her. Oh, I see. So you're saying that Lucinda is carrying on the family business. Vicki, you know good and well that there are such things as witches. Name one. Remember Mrs. Hopkins, our old junior high school teacher. Mrs. Hopkins was a mean old lady that gave you an F. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what about all those dead animals she had? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The woman taught biology. <laughs> sure. By day. <laughs> you know, y'all are taking this too far. Now, come on, Charlotte. You're going to tell me you believe in the supernatural. Yeah, I believe strange things happen. Look at all those folks who disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. Mm -hmm. I had an uncle who disappeared in Bermuda shorts. <laughs> Uh, 
the Bermuda Triangle is a place where people go and are never heard of again. I can take you to some neighborhoods like that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with Vic on this one, y'all. Shelly, you mean to tell me you don't believe that there are things that man wasn't meant to understand? Yeah, lots of things. Algebra, women, <laughs> the past age act show. <laughs> You all can make fun if you want, but I'm telling you, Lamar is playing with fire. And if he crosses Lucinda Van Druten, the same thing is gonna happen to him as it did Terry Campbell. Who's Terry Campbell? I never heard of Terry Campbell. And you never will. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Woo, it's gonna be another scorch out there today. Tell me about it. It's not even 9 o'clock and it's already 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm finished. That condition is all fixed. She's purring like a kitten. I don't hear any purring, Leon. And I don't feel any cool air. What are you kidding? It's getting downright nippy here already. I may have to go get my jacket. <laughs> I may have to go get an attitude. <laughs> well, what's that you got now? <laughs> Leon, please fix the air conditioning, or we won't pay the rent. Well, if you're going to put it on a friendship basis, all right. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. I decided to show up again. <laughs> Thank you, Lamar. We consider ourselves blessed. But I'm leaving early. Then we are twice blessed. <laughs> Got a heavy date with Lucinda? No. We had a little falling out, so I dumped her. You dumped her? Lamar, we are talking about a woman, a human being, not a load of dirt. Now, don't start that again. I was very gentle about it. I happen to be a sensitive, caring person. <laughs> How did she take it? I don't know. I left a message on her answering machine. <laughs> Lamar, you are the most exasperating man I have ever met in my entire life. And I really do hope that Lucinda does do something to get even with you. Many have tried. All have failed. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lucinda won't. She's only a woman. <laughs> yeah. Well... Well, she just happens to be a witch. Yeah, that's right, a witch. A witch? The woman didn't have one wart on her body. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> Count on it, Lamar. She's a real deal. And how did you find this out? B.B. told us. <laughs> oh, B.B. The woman who attempted the Vulcan mind meld with her cat. <laughs> Lamar, you don't believe in the supernatural. Only as a hairstyle. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, Mr. Lamar. Lucinda's gonna get you. <laughs> Sometimes, somehow, somewhere, when you least expect it, that you gonna be a frog. <laughs> don't worry, Lamar, I'll bring you flies every day. <laughs> He just wants to say hello before he robs us. <laughs> Who is it? Lamar! Oh. Lamar, what do you want? I thought you might want some gum. <laughs> Lamar, what are you doing here? I gotta talk to you. Come on in. I can't talk about Lamar. it. Lamar. <laughs> now, come on, you woke us up. She did it. You told me she would do it, and she did it. She did it? Who did what? Lucinda. You were right about her. She is a witch. You, you gotta help me. I'm cursed. What is it? What kind of curse? <laughs> well, I was out with Sheila tonight, and 
she was excited and I was excited and... And? One thing led to another. She was ready and I was ready. <laughs> then she could and I couldn't. <laughs> Channel 5, KRGB-TV, Westlaco. There he was, alone with this beautiful woman. Soft music. Mm. Sweet lights. Mm -hmm. And then? <gasps> Nothing. Nada. Zero. Good night. <laughs> oh, poor Lamar. Ooh, he must be devastated. Mm -hmm. Isn't it awful? Isn't it terrible? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear this. What's the matter with Lamar? Taylor, let me put it this way. The flame went out on his candle. Oh. Oh. You know, the battery under the hood died. <laughs> the elevator won't leave the basement. Oh. You know something, y'all? This is poetic justice. I mean, after the way that that man has treated women over the years, maybe this will take the wind out of his sail. Mm. It certainly took his mask down. <laughs> He's on time. Good morning, Lamar. What's up? <laughs> Late. Late? Almost two whole minutes. But don't worry, I'll make it up at the end of the day. Pretty dress, Vicky. Did he just compliment me on my dress? Did he also apologize for being late? Wow, he's like a different person. Yeah, ain't it wonderful? <laughs> Lamar, what's the matter? You look a little down. Word travels fast. <laughs> your ducks and your vents check out fine, and your pressure's okay. Cut the medical jargon. What's the bottom line? You got a worn-out compressor motor. Cost you $75 to replace it. Oh, I can get it for you cheaper. Thanks, Chili, but we don't want any stolen goods, sweetheart. You don't? You better make that 100 <laughs> Lamar, are you ready for your customer yet? I don't know. I just don't think I'm into it today. Lamar, don't you let a few raindrops spoil your picnic. After all, you are still Lamar. I am good. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Oh, that's the spirit. Betsy, let us embark on an adventure in hair styling. The Lamar Experience. <laughs> Sensation in sight. I'm sorry, but I think the Lamar experience is a thing of the past. This is pathetic. The man is an absolute wreck. I think you're right. Maybe he's suffered enough. Oh, I think he can tough it out. <laughs> Lamar? Lamar, can I have a talk with you, please? Look, Lamar, I think you're taking this thing too much to heart. I'm a marked man. You saw what just happened. Lamar, all you did was blow a fuse. Oh, go ahead. Rub it in. <laughs> Lamar, what happened to you last night happens to every man once in a while. Who have you been going out with? <laughs> Look, Lamar, I only told you that the woman was going to get you because I was mad at you. Now, there's no such thing as a witch's curse. 
Yvonne, come on over here and tell Lamar that there's no such thing as a witch's curse. What can I say, Vicky? The brother is having a problem. <laughs> nice try, Vicky. But we both know the truth. My life is over. Lucinda has hit a bullseye. Some help you are. Well, I didn't put the curse on him. Nobody put a curse on him. It's all in his mind. It's not in his mind. His mind is working. <laughs> you know, I may have my gripes with Lamar, but really, I can't stand to see him like this. I'll admit he is a little bit on the jellyfish side. <laughs> but this is a force greater than us. What are we gonna do? you been? I mean, how long can it take to find somebody to pretend to be a witch? Pretend? I've got a certified witch. She's parking right now. Why is she parking outside? We got a broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drive a broom. I drive a Mercedes. <laughs> you see, I'm a rich witch. <laughs> I've got somebody to help you. I don't want to be helped. I just want to go home, get into a hot bath, and pull the water up over my head. <laughs> Lamar, this is Madam Abigail. She is a witch. Another one? <laughs> is there a convention in town? Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's funny. Can I find her under a house? <laughs> I saw her card at the Transcendental Bookstore on the bulletin board right next to Tomorrow's News. <laughs> now, Yvonne has filled me in on the situation here. Now, if you ask me, this low-life chauvinist is getting exactly what he deserves. Couldn't you have picked another card? <laughs> Look, if you feel that way, then why are you here? Because witches work under the same ethics as doctors. We never turn down a fee. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to need is two virgins. <laughs> Better go to plan B. <laughs> All right, but I'm still going to need some help. Look, Abigail, I think it's only fair to tell you up front that I really don't believe in this sort of stuff. Well, don't worry about it. For now, I just need your body, not your soul. Oh, that brings back memories. <laughs> okay, now each of you grab an earlobe. <laughs> not yours, his. <laughs> You're not going to ask them to make a wish, are you? <laughs> oh, I'm picking up some, some negative vibrations here. Oh, we're going to have to alter that. Um, each of you will have to say something positive about Lamar. Mom says if you can't say anything nice about somebody, don't say anything at all. Please? <laughs> okay. He's attractive and he's a nice dresser. Hey, I was gonna say that. What am I gonna say now? Well, make up something I did. Sure, you act like it's easy. You can always say I have strong ears. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, can I uh, talk to you two? Oh, uh, uh, let me go. Listen, there is no aura around this man. He is not under a witch's curse. He's not? Uh -uh. I told you. Well, he thinks he is. Look, couldn't you just go through the motions and pretend like you're removing the curse? It's your money. Okay, let's go. You sit. All right. Now, I want you to close your eyes and just relax. Was that it? Just one more thing. 
Which too. <laughs> Don't worry. The fee includes my latest book, spells, curses, and uh, helpful fashion tips. <laughs> and for you, a special gift. Call me. I'll show you some real magic. <laughs> Ladies. I'd like to thank both of you for helping me. Just don't make us regret it, Lamar. I hope that from now on we see a change in your attitude towards women. Most definitely. I will never, ever, ever go out with the witch again. Hear my cry and grant my wishes. Biggie, I think I'll replace that air conditioner with a new unit. And you're right about the lease, so there's no charge. Have a nice day. You could claim whiplash and sue the pants off the guy. Ow! 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 That's right, Larry. Don't take the law into your own hands. Take him to court. See you next week. Good night. Tuesday, a fun-loving couple gets too loving for Tony and Angela on Who's the Boss? Then bowling bragging rights become a battle of the sexes on Family Matters. And Rosie and Dan decide to shape up. Or do they? Watch Roseanne after the new university president forces Hayden to teach a class on Coach. Now stay tuned for 2020, next.